Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Shocklocker with another gas mask review. Um, today, this is uh, this is going to be a mask that I actually got requested on the Facebook page. Once again, uh, as usual, I'll put the link down in the description below. If you decide to join the page, I'd like to start knowing if anyone at all um, is joining the page because of the videos I put up or any of that kind of stuff. Just go on the Facebook page, and if you get accepted into it, by if I mean when, because everyone gets joined in, we always like new members, we always like to learn from each other. But, um, when you get, you know, accepted into the page, I'd like you to just say, Josh sent me. It'd just be kind of cool to see, uh, if people are actually being influenced by me to join the page, it'd be really cool to see. Anyway, let's get on to the gas mask. Today I'll be doing the US M3A1. Um, for a little bit, there was a little bit of a dispute on the page. Because I wasn't quite sure what uh, exactly this was. By that, don't get me wrong, I knew this was an M3 when I originally bought it. That's what I thought it was. Um, but the mask came with an M4, and I thought the M4 was different than this. But I thought maybe I just knew less than I did. It turned out I didn't know as much as I did. Not to sound pretentious or anything. But the reason why I was confused, because also there are a couple different versions of the M3A1. Um, the first of all being um, that instead of this circular exhale valve, it had a flapper valve, which went right underneath of the tubes here and down towards the uh, chin. Um... They were also, the, um, the voice diaphragm and XL valve and all that kind of stuff was also made out of metal in contrast to this version and the other one which is, has plastic. Diaphragm masks have always been towards the top of my favorites when it comes to types of gas masks. I always found them to be particularly interesting, mainly because of how they are designed. You can see, because of that whole um, diaphragm system that comes down off the mask and into one tube, this kind of uh, Y connection straight into it. Very cool mask. I'm going to go ahead and assuming, I'm going to assume, uh, assuming, that um, this was the second version. Reason being because of... Um, I want to say that the the third version had a different um, kind of look to the exhale valve system here. Um, trying to think of what I can talk about this mask really. And yes, it's on a styrofoam head. Yes, I'm aware that it's apparently not too good for the rubber. Um, but it's all I had, and I'd like to keep my masks in shape. Uh, I'm working on getting acrylic masks, or acrylic heads, uh, for a better seal. My mask was produced, um, I want to say I saw a stamp on here not long ago, but they were produced in the mid-40s. Mid-40s uh, to early 50s, I think. I could be wrong. My mask came from lot 439 E4, 439 E4. Um, what else can I really talk about this mask? There isn't really too much to the mask itself. It's just a very cool looking gas mask. And it has a tube that goes down to the box filter, which straps into the bag itself to keep, you know, compact, held tight, and so. The soldier doesn't have to worry about um, carrying it around. Da, 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 da. I want to say I just recently uh, saw a year, I just can't remember where. If you look at the bottom of the mask, the um, you can kind of tell in there. The inhale valve 
portion of it is actually lifted away from the ground and it sits in a way that it can still get air even if it's sitting flat like this. It's completely intact still except for uh, there is no actual um, flap on the inside of the exhale valve it goes straight through which isn't a big deal to me because it's not like I plan on using this to survive or anything. Um, and I wish I had prepared for this in this little uh, review a little bit more but I just want to kind of show you guys the mask itself just so I can put something out there because I haven't put anything out for a little while and I apologize for those of you who um, regularly watch my videos show you the inside of the mask here very simple look to the inside of the mask you see how there's no valve there there's a small plastic piece there and that is the voice diaphragm that's the plastic covering and right underneath there is the actual um, piece for the voice that way you know um, sound waves can vibrate the piece of plastic and you can hear them but it doesn't let any particles through it has a nice six point canvas head harness each piece is adjustable and rather uh, easy. Actually, it's a, it's easy, but it's still the type of harness that I find rather annoying. If you look there, and you'll probably see this on any of your masks if you look, what it is on the edges there, these little um, pieces have to come. Let's see if I can do it on the camera. They have to be pulled down so you can retract the um, the adjustment strap pull it backwards and pull it in. Otherwise, when you pull it this way, they slide toward the top where it's almost like teeth, so it clamps down on it, which is pretty effective, yet still annoying. And you know exactly what I mean if you have a mask that has that. It has metal triangular shaped lenses, um, metal framing, glass um, lenses themselves, like I said, that's plastic. Um, can you guys tell that I haven't uh, done a review in a little while? I'm completely unprepared to do this review. But I'm still doing it because I love you guys' faces. Um, the mask is made up of a rather... Um, Rather durable rubber, it seems. Doesn't seem like it would be collapsing in on itself anytime soon, unlike a, let's say, a Yugoslavian MC1, which I also have and will eventually do a review on, which is a very flimsy um, silicone rubber material. Anyway, this has been the M3A1, and I'll try and get back onto my schedule of uploading a weekly video, if not bi weekly. Uh, by bi-weekly, I mean twice a week, not once every other week. Um, but yeah, that the link to the gas mask page is down below in the description. Uh, stay tuned for more of these videos, because it seems you guys do like them. So, um, if you want to see more, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see, um, let me know what you want to see else, uh, for future reviews. Um, this is Shock Locker, and I'll catch you guys later.